Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy James the A. So come back to a video that I should not be having to make today. Unfortunately, this video will not be brought to you guys with positive vibes or on a positive topic whatsoever. And trigger warning for any of you that have had traumatic experiences or severely negative experiences uh, tied to your, um, you know, race or how you are perceived by other people. But basically, <clears throat> the topic that we are going to be talking about today is the report system, racism, and things that basically have been uh, going unpunished uh, within our, our great wizard game, right? So basically, I want to start off by saying the report system has not worked since closed beta. And I wish I could be sitting here saying that like, that's a joke, but that is literally how it is perceived to the majority because this goes way back to... Uh, actually, I'll even go f as recent, right? If you want to say that, like, you know, the report system actually does work. I report people and they actually, you know, get reprimanded. Um, I I'll go as even early as a couple months ago to say that I was watching a match when the real J actually still played Wiz. Uh, I was watching a match where a bunch of people were calling him an ape and saying a bunch of just nasty racist deplorable things and i know for a fact that the report system failed to work because i reported these people other people at the match reported these people and they were caught still walking around with open chat days weeks and months later now that was months and months and months ago I have not seen the real J log on Wiz pretty much since then, but I'm not here to say that that's the reason why he hasn't logged on Wiz, right? But this is just uh, the most recent example, and this happened this year, right? Only a couple months ago. So, fast forward a couple days ago, I walk into the arena, and as most of you know, since the update, they have actually split off the Beast Moon Pavilion part of the arena from the actual practice and ranked and tournament part. Uh, of the arena pavilion so there is now a portal that leads to the other side of the arena where the beast moon area is located so i took that portal a couple days ago and to my surprise i was met by two people wearing this and when i saw this immediately my mouth dropped i took this screenshot and headed back over to the other side of the pavilion to see this and I had a very short interaction with this person, and this is how that that very interaction went. Now, I have no words for this. How this is possible in the game, how the report system hasn't worked since closed beta. And you can sit here and say that it does work, but to the vast majority of people that have dealt with racism or deplorable comments that are clearly against terms of service that have utilized the report system for this very like to prevent this sort of thing and it's failed that is how it is perceived to the masses to the community this is ridiculous it is deplorable it is disgusting it is 1000 percent to the 10,000th power unacceptable and something absolutely has to be done about it if it's not going to be addressed something has to be done about it and it, it needs to be made public um and the person in this screenshot zachary life does have other characters that i'll display on the screen so if you see any of these characters um you know i guess be cautious uh this person is very toxic also the other person in the second screenshot uh, or the first screenshot rather, Brand Boom Bloom is a well-known toxic person in the community as well. Very infamous, I should say. Um, steer clear of this person. They have multiple accounts. They are very well known for being toxic and trolling and just saying deplorable things. Um, from the time that I posted this on Twitter, because I did post it the day that I saw all of this stuff go down, um, I think my post now has about 40... 40 interactions 40 likes if you will and also since then apparently someone from the official Wiz reddit has posted this and that post now has 350 plus confirmed interactions and rising and uh it's kind of just shocking the community and what really disgusts me even further because 
I'm not the type of person to let this get under my skin. You know, I've been a YouTuber for how many years? And, you know, I've gotten deplorable comments under my YouTube channel, like, multiple times on multiple different things. I've heard it all, literally, like, all around the block. I've heard it, right? So this isn't the type of thing to trigger me. But can you imagine someone of color or just, like... A normal person logging on Wizard 101 for the first time trying to experience what this game has to offer and walking into the arena or walking into the comments and seeing a group of people wearing the KKK outfit? Are you serious right now? In fact, actually, at the time of recording this video, the Zachary Life person in the screenshot has been permanently muted. And I'm guessing that is because he got reported for saying the, the uh, things that he did that I showed you guys in the screenshot. But as far as going as to dress up as the KKK, regardless of what he said in game, he should be banned. And other people were telling me that this had been going on for years. So let's sit back, right? Let's say we're giving King Zhao the benefit of the doubt by saying that they had no idea that this was possible, these things were going on, and that they don't really have a lot of communication with technical support, right? Because as far as I'm concerned, the report system doesn't actually allow you to report someone for their outfit. That's kind of absurd, right? You wouldn't think someone would have the ability to dress up like the KKK in freaking Wizard 101. So let's give them the benefit of the doubt, right? Regardless of if they don't know about it, regardless of if, if, if this is the first time that they're finding out about people dressing up like this in the game, making stitches out of this, like actually stitching gear to this outfit. Fix this crap. This is unacceptable. Perma muting someone is absolutely not in any way, shape or form a viable punishment for any of this. This is absolutely ridiculous and I should not be having to sit here with my recording software open, recording this video, editing it, and putting it on my YouTube channel. But as a person of color, thinking about how this would affect other people, this is disgusting. And I cannot believe that anyone at the making of this video can just go out and troll somebody like this in a children's game especially after king's out just came out and said that most of their player base is under 18. i'm i'm not i'm not happy about this at all this is disgusting the fact that it is uh allowable and that you know the the course of action has been to mute these players regardless of whether you know uh the report system allows uh technical support to look at someone's stitch uh it, it, it's, it's it's just crazy it is it is literally crazy truly and honestly i cannot recommend this game to anybody as long as this stuff is going on and i know a lot of people had very mixed uh opinions on the new emojis not because of what they represent right uh, i just want to make it clear that i have no ill will in any bone in my body for anybody that identifies as uh anything if you are a human and you have a good heart i support you a thousand percent I have never been a person of prejudice. Uh, I'm a very open-hearted, open-minded person. You know, there's nothing to benefit from being close-minded or, you know, being racist or being, um, you know, phobic or anything like that. Um, so there the really is no point. But the fact that, like, you know, in, in combination with the report system not working, and even if they're trying to take, you know, advantage of blacklisting certain words around the new emojis, like even if you're permuted you can still like like you can still walk up to somebody with the kkk outfit and be like trans pride and like face palm like it, it, like I don't, I don't know what to say i don't know what to say so, something this has to be addressed something has to be done about this uh it's absolutely deplorable it's absolutely nasty like i i can sit here and say every single negative word in the dictionary but it's not going to change the fact that it's possible for someone to do this in this children's game right if, if if that's literally what we're going to have to boil it down to um it's absolutely unacceptable please fix it